So a lot of people ask, what is the, the most iconic product that Macintosh ever made? The MC275 is a 75 watt stereo vacuum tube amplifier. It made its debut in 1961 and stayed in production from 61 to 72. We built thousands of them. The amplifier went out of production in 72 and was brought back into production in 1994 as a commemorative to Gordon Gow. Obviously it's morphed over time because as different parts availability become obsolete or better parts become available, we go in and redesign to make it better and then also it has to meet the modern day safety elements, whether it be UL, CSA, 3C for China, those types of things. Cosmetic features really haven't changed other than feature set as far as controls and stuff like that that you would find on the front. For instance, the original 275 had the old octal plug, which nobody uses today. The new 275 doesn't have it. It's got balanced connectors. The original 275 never had balanced connectors but it's still in the line, sells every day, and we have no reason to discontinue it. What makes the MC275 endure the test of time is really from day one when the original amplifier was designed, it was way ahead of its time. As far as the unity coupled transformer, it was state of the art, which is what we call the output transformer or the autoformer. That alone gave uh, specifications for the amplifier that are as good as you can buy today. So literally it's, it's been nostalgically just able to maintain the 275 and its, its performance as parts have changed or new parts become available to keep the unit at its, its normal operating characteristics which is as competitive as any vacuum tube amplifier that you can find on the market today.